On this week's KSP News Show, Squad announces yet another overhaul for aircraft landing gear in 1.1, and a surprise tidbit of 1.2 information is announced, with the modelling and texturing of all rocket parts to be looked at and overhauled. All that and more on this week's KSP News Show. Reporting live from the Kerbal Space Center, it's your host, Jim Lee Kerman! Good morning, evening and afternoon my fellow Kerbanauts, my name is Jin Lee Kerman, welcome back to this week's KSP News Show, the last one of 2015. We have a load of awesome stories to cover today, including a little bit of 1.2 information, which I will come to in but a few minutes. Before that though, let's look at something that will be coming a little bit sooner in the 1.1 update, and that is of course, aircraft landing gear being overhauled yet again. So yes, now that 1.1 is now in QA testing, squad are focusing on some of the smaller aspects of the actual update. This includes stuff such as making sure that fairings have struts, invisible struts inside them whenever they're closed so that the craft inside them don't flop around, which is definitely a very, very cool update, but also tweaking the landing gear yet again to make sure that we have more choice and more practicality when it comes to actually placing them on the bottom of our ships. In the dev notes this week, it's says it's not all bug fixes around the office though. Chris aka Porkjet has been polishing the landing gear effects and animations. A new six wheeled model is making an appearance in the game and it'll be the replacing the largest landing gear, while the other models have also been swapped with the late with the next biggest models and rescaled to match the si their size. The result is a selection of four different sizes of landing gear, while your favourite craft files will not be affected between 1.05 and 1.1. It of course then posts a comparison image, a link to a comp comparison image which I'll put on the screen right now. These are the landing gear we have at the moment in 1.05. You can see we have the smallest ones. This is discounting the ones you get right at the very start of career mode because they're not really all that great as landing gear. These are just the normal uh, ones that you'd use on, on large-ish sort of craft. So you can see here the uh, smallest variant of those that has been around in the game since forever. And then of course we have the medium size and the very large size, both of which are slightly too large. I always find they either very large right really overkill in terms of size or just too large that it makes the plane look really really awkward it often means I have to use clipping to sort of um, make sure that the landing gear are both level and um, and make sure that they actually look decent on my plane and it can be very very annoying with the new image that I'm putting on screen right about now for the 1.1 landing gear you can see that they have now not only retextured the smallest landing gear here but they have also adjusted the size of the ones that are currently in existence and also sort of, and also added in these really really large landing gear which I'm assuming will go on the wings or the rather the back end of an airliner or an airliner type aircraft a large aircraft shall we say and personally I think the models look really really nice I think that the uh, animations when they do eventually come around as well will also look really really cool because Porkjet always does a really really cool job of modeling and texturing the parts always looks really really awesome and just genuinely amazing I also like the the look of these smaller ones now, sort of like a light aircraft style uh, style type of landing gear there. And I do think the overall modeling is really, really well done. However, I don't really see the point of having fixed sizes of landing gear in KSP at the moment. Maybe this is just my opinion, maybe I'm completely wrong and you guys will completely dif disagree with me, but I've always thought that just see simply to make the game easier during actual construction phase, I'd have thought maybe procedural landing gear or something along those lines where you can set the height yourself would be a lot easier. I mean, I can see a problem with it right off the bat could be in terms of the animation for it, as in you, it would be very, very hard to animate something um, that's scalable so that you can have really really tall landing gear and they'd all glitch out and everything that's one problem I could potentially see with it but in terms of in terms of concept um, I do really think that landing gear that you can set the height of yourself um, would make plane building a lot easier in general because everyone's had that problem where they've had landing gear that on the back of their aircraft when it's um, that's taller than the front meaning the aircraft sort of 
pitches down on the runway, which makes it harder to take off. So having a nice level uh, track to begin with um, would be pretty cool. But like I say, this is probably a technical hurdle, which is probably very hard to overcome. I'm not a game developer by any means, but I'm assuming that it's something to do with the animation of the gear folding away, which is probably uh, probably to do with that. But what do you guys think of the textures? Personally, I think these new landing gear here are, they look really, really awesome. And I think they're going to look really, really awesome on different craft. And the fact they've given us some more choice now um, for the different sizes of craft is bloody amazing. I can't, I can't wait to try them all out. But what do you think? Do you think procedural landing gear would be better? Do you think that these landing gear are better? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I am very, very interested to hear your opinions. Anyway, moving on to our next story today, which is somewhat off on the horizon at the moment, shall we say. But it is still something to look forward to in the coming year or so for KSP. And generally, I think this might be quite an awesome thing. So in this week's dev notes, just after Squad finished talking about the new landing gear, in the next paragraph down, it said, In addition to the landing gear, Chris, with the help of Nathaniel and at the experimental test team has started work on a concept for overhauling the rocket parts in a similar fashion to the plane parts. This is more of a long term plan which will most likely start showing up in version 1.2 but regardless it is good to get planning uh, the planning phase started. Now as Squaz said this is not coming until at the very least 1.2 and may even take even longer from what they said here maybe across multiple updates here um, but I personally think that this is going to be a very very cool thing in the long run. Think about the look at the parts that we have at the moment. While some of them, I admit, do look rather cool, some of them, the texture work and some of the modelling work as they're perhaps older parts, definitely needs a little bit of work uh, with regards to such as the fuel tanks and stuff like that. Some of the fuel tanks, like I can't name them off by heart, but some of them do just kind of look out of place when placed against uh, some parts that perhaps have been added in later on down the line in the game, which makes them look a bit more awesome compared to the older parts, like I said, which kind of look a little bit off, shall we say. The awesome job that Portjet has done with the plane parts and the aerodynamic parts in Kerbal Space Program so far really does give me faith for um, the, him doing a really, really good job at remodeling and retexturing these parts because it, they're just going to end up looking awesome. Everything Portjet, Portjet touches does just seem to turn to gold at the moment. I am a massive fan of his work with uh, KSP, if you aren't already aware. And I do genuinely believe that this will add an extra layer of detail into the game overall. However, there is a flip side to this, and that is sort of the sentimental value of the look of the parts at the moment. If you guys think the orange tank... Let's just take the orange tank as an example. Imagine the look of the orange tank being changed for 1.2. That's like a staple of Kerbal Space Program, just sort of gone. Um, something that's sort of been used and is in, in the whole pop culture of Kerbal, the Kerbal Space Program community. That's something that is wiped out. And I'm sure that this is just a minor gripe. I'm sure Colette Porkjet will remodel this um, the parts with this in mind and will end up um, harking back to it by keeping the colour orange and just changing the modelling slightly or something like that. But it is just a minor concern of mine that we've grown quite attached to these parts and the way they look over the next over the past like few updates and years we've been playing Kerbal Space Program so seeing them change might be a little bit distressing for us but I'm sure that this is just a minor gripe not even a gripe really just a minor sort of thing I thought about that may be negative but it will most likely not be a thing especially seeing as we'll most likely get used to the way the parts look in the end game after all but what do you guys think of this chain this proposed change for Kerbal Space Program in the uh, in the not too distant but still fair fairly distant future. What do you think? Uh, do you? How would you like all the parts to sort of be uh, remodeled? Let me know in the comments down below. Like I say, I always read your opinions. And I always love reading your opinions because some of them are pretty damn awesome and I, I get inspired for a lot of ideas and stuff like that and uh, hopefully squad do as well. But that's going to round it off for this week's KSP News, guys. Sorry if it was a little bit shorter than usual. Um, I've basically got loads of stuff to do at the moment um, preparing for New Year's and stuff like that. I hope all of you guys had a very, very Merry Christmas and you got everything that you wanted and I hope you have a smashing new year as well and without further ado it basically remains for me to say here's to 2016 and uh, this is Jin Lee Kerman signing off remember to like and subscribe for more and as always stay classy